Hi y'all, welcome back to Astro Motivation. My name is Jupiter James where I give you a little insight and encouragement on your unique placement within your birth chart and awaken the astrologer within you. You know, I really do feel that before a time of technology, we were a people in a society that were better able to look up at the stars and understand exactly what the universe wanted from us. And it is with that language and with that knowledge that we were able to decipher our birth charts. That way we understood exactly what the universe wanted from us. And so um, I'm just here on YouTube to remind you of the innate gifts and the innate knowledge that you already know and that you already have. That way we all get to our dreams further and faster and so if that sounds good to you let's get into it today we are going to get into moon in the ninth house okay moon in the ninth house is going to give me someone who is very comforted by the higher knowledge and the higher learnings of this world you know they are probably someone who also is very comforted by travel they love to explore and they love to excavate and they love to go and mingle with different cultures of the world. But before we go ahead and really unpack and dive deep into that aspect, let's go ahead and separate the aspects. That way we are better able to do more with the knowledge that we've been given. If we separate it, then we are, if we just keep it together and we just like, oh, moon and ninth house, okay, goodbye. But if we separate it, we can go, okay, the moon does this and the ninth house does that and we can do more with those individual knowledge and teachings that way when these things come up in different areas of our life or in the birth charts or we see them on our friends co-stars or we see them in our friends charts we can decipher what they mean okay so now with the moon the moon is always going to give me as an astrologer it's going to show me the emotional fortitude of a person it's going to show me where this person will be emotionally comforted by and what this person is out searching in the world that will comfort them. It's that specific point and placement in the birth chart that will show me where this person will be comforted and how, what will comfort them the most. For some, it's money. For some, it's family. For some, it's fame. For some, it's um, nurturing and deep relationships. But the moon will point you, me in that direction of where that person will be comforted. And the moon is also gonna show me the dynamics that were happening with you and your mother when you were growing up. What is the dynamic in, in the present with you and your mom? How do you and your mom get along and how did your mom nurture you and care for you and uh, love on you? And now when you go out in the world, you are that same way with other people and you indirectly or directly are like that with other people. This is how you relate now because your mother was the first touch. Your mother was the first relationship that you ever had. And so that is the, the programming of your emotional center and your emotional relation with other people, okay? So that's the moon. And the, oh, also the moon is also about healing. It's about nurturing. It's about um, sometimes psychic energy. And it's also gonna show me where things fluctuate in an area of your life, all right? Where things could go up and down or things could be hot and cold because the moon is the quickest luminary within our sky and it can fluctuate and things could be up one day and then down the other in certain areas of your life wherever the moon is pointing to, all right? Now, with the ninth house, the ninth house is all about your higher learning. It's about your education. It's about your father. It's about your um, travels, you know, you you traveling around, and that is because the ninth house is ruled by Sagittarius and it's ruled by Jupiter. And that being said, uh, Jupiter is luck, right? So this is also your luck house. Where do you get your luck from? Who and what is lucky for you? This is your luck house, how to activate it, and there are certain things within the ninth house that will show me where you get lucky, how you get lucky, and your travels and your father more specifically because your father was your first guru. Your father was your first teachings. Whether you have a father or not, this will also show me that. It's gonna show how your father taught you. Your father is your first guru, okay? Now, what happens when we take the moon and we throw it into the ninth house? The, this is gonna show me, I don't know why I automatically get, I just get, single father or single mother. I, it just shows me like your mother or your father took on both roles, roles in your life as far as teaching you things. It could be that, it could also be where your mother or your father as a single mother or single father, they taught you a lot of things. You know, they had to take on two different, Two, they had to take on two roles in one person in one body and was either the single mother or the single father of you and they had to teach you what your father couldn't teach you because they were absent or they had to teach you what your mother couldn't teach you because they were gone or absent and 
I don't know why automatically just like something came to me and was like single father, single mother. All right. Now, this could also be someone who is emotionally comforted by philosophy. You could be emotionally comforted by getting a good education or, or, or being someone who is very learned and scholarly. You are also maybe someone who aims to heal others or relate with others in the form of religion or spirituality. You could be a very spiritual person and this is how you find healing. This is how you find comfort. Even videos like this could heal you and comfort you because you want to know about the higher meaning of life and philosophy. And with Sagittarius ruling this house, it can take on a spiritual flair. You know, spirituality probably really comforts you. You probably could be in any denomination of religion, but religion and spirituality they really comfort you and this is also an area of your life where you can heal others and you are healed by religion you can go through really uh and this could go up and down again this could go up and down things could fluctuate it could be moments where you are the best student right and then there could be the moments where like you don't care about school at all this could be moments where religion was very important to you and there could be moments where it's just not at all you don't care about that but your your mother is also probably very far away from you your mother is probably also someone who taught you a lot as far as philosophy she's probably from a different land than the one that you are currently residing in you your mother is probably also far away from you maybe in a a different country or just far away you're probably far away from your mother this gives me far off lands far off travels or immigrant thing like things like that immigrant um, person that is from a different place your mother is from a different place and was probably someone who just gave you a lot of information on what life is she was probably someone who's very religious and just very educational oriented she was someone who was like education is very important to us we take education very seriously and your mother was like this with you she was probably very adventurous very philosophical very um just she wanted you to be very good at school and to know what you need to know about the world and if that's not so it could just mean that she is from a different country you guys are from a different country and she wanted to teach you the cultures of her country and the things that she's from and things that she likes and yeah but for the most part you're going to be someone that is comforted by getting on a plane and going somewhere far if you could travel and just you know learn about other people's cultures and other people's things and other people's foods and other people's culture you are comforted by that you are comforted by a good vacation you are comforted by freedom you love to just get on a plane and go do something or learn about new things that comforts you and and i know this sounds weird but college was probably comforting to you as well like you going away for college and being in a dorm and just like learning these new things was probably very comforting for you and it is also an area of your life i just really really feel like you are someone that uses religion to heal others and to heal yourself. You really want to take the higher learnings of the world and this could give me doctor. You probably learned a lot of philosophy and teachings within college that now you use to go out and you heal others with, right? Like this could give me doctor energy or surgeon energy a preacher even you could be a preacher someone who again they want to take the philosophies they've learned right that's a preacher and it's in a spiritual house and now they go and with the philosophies that they know they're out preaching and teaching and through those preachings and teachings you help heal others you could be a teacher a preacher you could just use and like philosophy and religion to heal you you really love traveling as well but if this sounds like you can you let me know are you did you have a single mother or father and did they have to take on both roles in one body and probably had to teach you a lot of things did you have a father that was did you have a father that had very caring mother-like energy that could be it too you probably had a father who had very mother-like energy and was very just very nurturing to you very just easy going with you and you knew that if something went wrong you could go to your father and your father would nurture you and heal you back to health um, 
Are you someone that loves traveling? Write in the comments below. Also, let me know while you're at it the sign that your moon in the ninth house is in because then that would help me to really clue into what you could be experiencing with this place me because again, this is a general video and I'm um, channeling these messages and these insights for everyone out there that is on YouTube. You know, and there's no way that I could hit the nail on the head for every single person out there in the world. So this is a more general video of what you could be experiencing as a whole. But if you really want me to zoom in, just write down what your sign on the moon in the ninth house is and i'll write back two little sentences on what you could be experiencing with that placement all right but this but if this is you let me know that as well okay but yeah my my biggest inspiration and motivation for you is to continue to be that wanderlust that you are i know that you feel that there is a greater sense and a greater message out there for you in the world there's a greater teaching out there in the world i just feel like you are someone that you're just like i just want to know what this life is about i want to be on a plane i want to go to the ashram i want to go to india and like i just want to be with the monks and just understand what this life is about i know that you are probably very comforted by that and you are also someone that is very freedom and adventurous orientated and continue to be that continue to really search and go out there and be adventurous and know all about the truth. You are comforted by the truth. You love truth and honesty. If people are true and honest with you, you are true and honest with them and that is the biggest thing that um, is important to you. You are someone who has a lot of integrity and honor and you want to be as truthful and honorable as possible and so continue to be that way don't let or allow people to stifle you emotionally either like if you feel constricted or you feel like people are are trying to keep you normal and say no you need to settle down why are you always on a plane why are you always on a train why do you always want to go why do you always want to leave this is where you find your luck little do they know this is how you find your luck in your life when you follow that gut instinct in your heart and your emotions when your emotions say uh it's time to go i need you to go because that's where the lucky things in life will find you this is where you find god and this is where you will find emotional balance and emotional happiness so continue to be that way continue to be the adventurous spirit that you are and only good things in life can come from that all right well i really do hope that you guys got some inspiration and some encouragement from this video if you'd like me to do any other videos per your unique placement within your birth chart just write it in the comments below and i'll add that to my queue and i'll see if i can get that up and running for you guys but other than that, I will see y'all in the next video. Y'all have a great day. Love you. Bye.